Today we're going to talk... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, today we're going to talk about how to get rid of phlegm that is stuck in your lungs. Now, far too often, people reach for over-the-counter medications and they wonder why those treatments don't work and sometimes even have side effects. Now, there's two categories that these medications fit into. You have medications that suppress this mucus, and then you have medications that um, pull mucus out. That's called an expectorant. And of course, anytime you suppress a mucus or a cough, um, you may end up having that infection a lot longer, and then you may also weaken your immune system. Plus, you might have some slight minor complications or side effects, like vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, and kidney stones. Now, other than that, totally fine. And I'm describing the one medication that is an FDA-approved expectorant. All the other ones are things that suppress mucus. So, of course, um, I think the best thing to do is to look for a natural remedy, which I'm going to talk about right now. But I do want to mention um, it's important to exercise your lungs if you have this mucus that's trapped down into the lower part of your lungs. In other words, you might want to uh, try alternating breathing through your chest, deep breaths through the nose, and also then stomach breathing, where you're pumping the diaphragm up and down so you can mobilize some of this mucus. Another important thing to eat a lot of, if you can do this, is radishes. Radishes tend to pull mucus from the deeper tissues in your body. Also, as a side note, if you have a dry cough, there's no mucus, but you have this dry cough, the usual remedy for that that usually works like almost 100% of the time is calcium. Any type of calcium, you just take it and it will tend to help get rid of that dry cough. Uh, great for kids as well as adults. In fact, one of the um, medications out there for blood pressure called a calcium channel blocker works by blocking calcium. And the side effect from that is coughing. Okay, so in this combination remedy, it just involves three simple ingredients in water, okay? Onion, okay? Honey, and lemon. Let's start off with onions. Onions are basically a natural thinner of mucus. They're a natural, a very effective mucus expectorant. They will help suppress a cough. They, especially if it's viral in nature, they're high in sulfur, which helps break up the mucus, just like a radishes. And yes, you can eat onions, but you also can juice onions if you don't have a juicer. What you do is you get a grater and you grate the onions in a little uh, bowl. You put that then in a strainer with some maybe paper towel and you push the juice out of it. And all you really need is one tablespoon of this onion juice. And that's basically 14.7 milliliters for those people in Europe. Onions are also one of the highest sources of quercetin. Okay, now quercetin is a natural antihistamine and it has no side effects. So it's really good for allergies and uh, mucus production and inflammation. And it calms down an overactive immune system. So we're going to combine this onion juice with the next thing on the list, which is honey. Now, if you can get the Manuka honey, that's a little bit better, but any of the raw honeys will work. Honey has been a known uh, great remedy to suppress coughing, to help as a natural expectorant, to help with mucus as an antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. I mean, think about what these bees do. They go around to all of these flowering trees and plants, and they pull out the nectar, and with that comes a lot of different pollen. So we have all these factors that can help your own immune system. It's even considered like a natural antibiotic of your respiratory system. I mean, they use the Manuka honey on open wounds to help heal like bed sores. And Manuka honey, if you can get it, has this additional X factor. It's called MGO. And this is a chemical that is a very powerful antimicrobial. But like I said before, you can use any raw honey, it will work. Honey also has, uh, naturally, uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is good to kill pathogens. But for upper respiratory infections, like the sinus and lower respiratory infections, it's an effective uh, remedy. And we're going to use one tablespoon, that is 14.7 milliliters. So we take these first two ingredients, we mix it with the third ingredient, which is lemon juice, right? So with the lemon juice, you want to use two tablespoons which is 29.4 milliliters. 
and the citric acid in the lemon juice will actually break up mucus. The vitamin C will help the immune system. And lemon is like this sour, somewhat bitter uh, substance, which is great to kind of thin the mucus and also cause the mucus to kind of come up so you can get it out of the body. Now, you want to add these three ingredients to a cup of water and you want to drink this three times a day. Now, if you want to add a couple additional things, I would add a tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar to this. And you can even add some ginger. But this is actually a no-brainer, very simple uh, virtually no side effect type remedy for getting rid of mucus. Now, there are other causes of mucus that need different solutions. Like if you have GERD, where you're having acid reflux coming up through this um, your valve on the top of the stomach. If you haven't seen my video on that, which actually got over, I think, 5 million views, I put that up right here. Check it out. 